Okay, thank you for inviting us. Um, um, first of all, I have to say that uh, uh, we are coming from the field of uh, art, culture, uh, media, social, cultural and political activism. Uh, uh, we are coming from uh, Belgrade, Serbia, and uh, uh, we will focus more on, on the case of uh, uh, Gremedia factory, but uh, but in order to um, uh, uh, fully understand the case of uh, uh, factory Gremedia, one should uh, really understand the. the um, a specific uh, history of uh, Yugoslavian um, uh, experiment, ex experiment in uh, uh, in self management because it was the um, very special or unique case uh, of workers uh, self management uh, impo imposed uh, above. Um, uh, so, um, uh, it was introduced um, uh, uh, in Yugoslavia uh, and, and what is also very important is to um, mention that, that in, in, in um, socialist Yugoslavia uh, there was no state ownership or state property actually, uh, but social property. property. This, this was a decision uh, made uh, after 48, after um, um, 48 after uh, breakup with uh, uh, um, Soviet uh, uh, policy. Uh, 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 factory Yugoslavia. Uh, um, uh, is situated in uh, Zrenjanin, it's a um, town uh, uh, northern uh, Serbia. Uh, and um, actually it can be analyzed as a um, paradigm uh, of um, rise and fall of uh, Yugoslav self-management and what came afterward uh, in the period of so-called transition from socialism to peripheral uh, wild capitalism that we are facing uh, today. Uh, in the period of socialism, uh, Yugoremedia, uh, it, it is a pharmaceutical uh, company. Uh, it was uh, just one of many uh, factories uh, uh, that uh, um, were really um, um, doing well uh, all over uh, the, the, the Yugoslavian towns. There were many similar uh, companies um, uh, with um, work, 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 worker self-management uh, uh, that were um, not only um, caring of the factory, but also uh, um, communicating or uh, closely um, uh, working with, uh, with uh, their communities. Uh, but uh, after the period of uh, transition, uh, it was uh, in, the, in Serbia, it was a unique case of uh, workers uh, uh, struggles, uh, fights, uh, self-organization uh, uh, after uh, several processes of uh, privatization of factory. So uh, after 97, but especially between uh, 2007 and 2012, um, they managed to um, um, uh, um, to uh, regain and to re-occupy um, the, the factory. Um, uh, we don't have time to, to discuss all in details, but, uh, 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 but uh, there, were, uh, uh, there were many 
contradictions and 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 uh, uh, problems in in uh, the process of uh, recuperation, uh, but. Uh, uh, as it was the unique uh, case and uh, having in mind how um, this uh, knowledge of uh, um, um, self-management system and knowledge of uh, or narrative uh, of uh, social property that became very uh, critical in mainstream on one hand, we we have a strong neoliberal uh, paradigm that occupies uh, um, public space and and uh, and media uh, from the early 90s, and on the other hand, this uh, anti-social um, uh, and anti-communist uh, discourse. Uh, on the other hand. Uh, and when it, it, it is um, uh, discussed uh, positively uh, about uh, past, then it, it is always in, in the, some nostalgic sense. So it's very, very hard to uh, uh, grasp all the contradictions uh, related to, to, um, um, to Yugoremedia uh, case. But uh, I would just highlight two major problems um, during the processes of recuperation and after it. Uh, first one is that uh, um, uh, workers, uh, because of, uh, due to the, uh, to, to the process of, of um, becoming actually um, um, Uh, owners of uh, of shareholders, um, uh, they introduced this narrative uh, of uh, uh, worker as entrepreneur. Uh, uh, that is. Uh, really dom dominant and strong uh, and uh, um, completely negated this notion of a worker as, as self-manager. Man uh, the other uh, uh, problem is that the uh, narrative of uh, privatization uh, was and still is very strong but that uh, uh, privatization uh, was not uh, problematized, but only corrupted privatization. So this question of um, um, uh, what is the major problem with the uh, process of privatization, uh, I, I cannot say it was never discussed, but uh, uh, the, the major narrative was that uh, uh, corrupt that uh, workers have to uh, f struggle against uh, corruptive uh, privatization. Uh, many positive things were that uh, uh, workers of Yugoremedia were uh, taking part in many uh, solidar actions with uh, workers in other uh, factories uh, uh, and also they uh, they made uh, uh, solidar gestures with a different uh, and, and taking part in different kind of collaborations with uh, uh, local uh, uh, political activists uh, uh, and etc. Uh, um, and at the moment, uh, um, the state of affairs in, in, in these factories that uh, they are in the process of uh, bankruptcy. Um, and there were no other case uh, in, in Serbia similar to this uh, um, uh, recuperation or uh, occupation of factory by workers uh, themselves and uh, that would last so much as it was in, in uh, Yugoremedia. So, okay, if... Uh if you can have a couple of more minutes, I will continue. Uh, 
so as Vida mentioned, this was the uh, Yugo Remedy was the only example of uh, a recuperated factory in Serbia, and unfortunately, it is unsuccessful uh, example. Uh, uh, the one of the problems was uh, what Vida mentioned: uh, this notion of uh, being uh, small capitalists, as workers in that time uh, uh, like to to call themselves, like being shareholder. Uh, the other pro problem was uh, not having the uh, support network which we were mentioning today. So workers of Yugo Remedia didn't have other recuperated factories even in the region in that time. Uh, they didn't have support of unions, there was the lack of the media that could support them, uh, there was the even the lack, lack of the uh, some kind of le left scene, so the left scene was uh, quite unorganized in that period. Uh, and uh, luckily, uh, uh, part of the workers actually realized uh, these problems, and part of the workers uh, tried to keep the factory open during occupation, and to organize even then uh, different events that could actually attract people from outside of the factory to, to work with them and to, uh, uh, to have some kind of process of self-education. Uh, now when uh, this um, uh, uh, occupation is finished, uh, this part of the workers started um, actually one of the outcomes of, of their, uh, of their uh, um, occupation of the factory is one uh, left coalition in which we are also members. It's called Left Summit of Serbia, uh, which is actually trying to create some kind of network that, that could support these uh, um, uh, types of uh, occupations of, or different political attempts in the future. So Left Summit of Serbia is formed in uh, October of 2013. Uh, there is uh, 17 organizations that are uh, members. Uh, these organizations are coming from different fields, from uh, student movement, from uh, cultural field, media, from uh, LGBT movement uh, and so on. And uh, coalition actually and these organizations are representing uh, continuity of left struggles in Serbia. I mean this continuity is not long simply because we have had after collapse of socialism in Serbia we had uh, ruling of so-called socialist party which managed actually to keep some kind of picture of being socialist although they were nationalists but this was this is even now a big problem for the left in serbia uh, uh, so what what we are doing as coalition uh, 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 number one would be education uh, we are trying to work a lot on education uh, and not just in organizing a small events where we could share our knowledge, but also we are trying to have kind of long-term projects in which we could actually keep the people involved into different aspects of work. So uh, this educational process is somehow of permanent education and uh, attracting new people and giving them um, some kind of obligations inside of, uh, of this uh, coalition. Uh, also, uh, we are continuing this what workers of Yugo Remedia started. We are continuing with, uh, uh, let's say, mapping of different left actors in uh, in Serbia. They are trying to communicate with these people to uh, to see if there is possibility of uh, working together on some on some issues. Um, we are doing this also by participating in different struggles and uh, uh, protests and strikes of workers and so on. Uh, and we are uh, trying to see if there are people in uh, unions or in different fields in, with whom we could cooperate because there is no chance of cooperating at the moment with um, uh, big uh, union centrals. Uh, and also uh, the very important uh, uh, part of our work is regional cooperation. Uh, this regional cooperation is mostly connected with, uh, with uh, ex-Yugoslavia as this one cultural and political sphere. Uh, so we are cooperating a lot with um, uh, uh, organizations and individuals connected with um, uh, 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 Initiative for Democratic Socialism Party in Slovenia, with uh, different organizations from uh, Croatia, from Bosnia. Um, 
So, uh, also what... Okay, I wanted to speak about the general political problems that we have, but maybe we could leave this for, uh, for, for discussion. Okay, thank you.